of all our strange experiences as castaways on this South Pacific island, the most terrifying one began one night. We were awakened by the eerie cries of some demented creature. Even to me, a man who had studied for the ministry. The onslaught of these unholy sounds was fearful, horrifying. slam bang on the walls and I swore I thought I heard something flying around inside same thing here well then it must have been two or whatever unless it be haunts and I see haunts they can be two places to once they don't uh, bang on the walls and knock things off shelves begging your pardon Carl I heard tales they do Like I said, 
it. It looked like a bat to me. I've never seen anything like it. It was glowing. It did look something like a bat. Aye, it's a messenger of the devil himself, with the flames of hell still a burning on him. Devil? Aye. Don't go frightening the children, Jeremiah, or yourself either. We all saw it. It's real enough. The smell of death. Take a look in the morning and see what we can find. Sulfur and brimstone. That's what you'll find with a blight on all living things. Jeremiah. Let's all get back to bed. In the morning, we'll try and find out what caused it. Well, I'll stay here with you. You know, Carl, to protect you. Thank you, Jeremiah. And I ain't sleeping a wink. No, sir. Not a wink. And I tell you what else I'm going to do. I'm going to pull up the stairway so you'll all be secure and safe and snug. You go to bed, Lottie. I'm going to stay up for a while. Do you think he will come back? Probably not. Don't let Jeremiah's superstitions upset you. I won't. <laughs> Jeremiah, too. Good, let them. I did some damage to the roof. I'll repair it before the next rain. I'm going to take a look around outside. Mama, is there really a devil? The kind of monster devil Jeremiah's afraid of? No, and we don't believe in witches or ghosts either. Helga says her father once had a man on his ship, and he got another man sick just by sticking pins in a doll. Helga's heard a lot of tall stories on shipboard. But I'm sure your father will find out what happened here. Carl. Don't tell me that ain't the work of the devil. You tell me why he'd do it. The devil don't need no reason for doing. He just do it. He jerky. He jerky. Mm. Mm. It's as good as ever. Are you sure? Certain sure. Try some. Wonder why he wouldn't touch this. I just told you. The devil don't need no reason for doing. He just whooshes around, and he do what he like. Whoosh. Let's go outside. Maybe we can figure out what was whooshing last night. Hmm? All right, stand back.
lovely what happened last night. Carl, you weren't doing it. I wasn't doing it. Who are doing it? I don't know, but there has to be a rational explanation. Let's go. I don't care what you say, Fred. My father told me a story about a man who had such magical powers he could make people see visions or even fall in love. Helga, that's an old sailor's tale. Well, there are witch doctors. I don't believe any of it. Her father would lie. <laughs> Same thing we saw on the porch? No, it was a face, a horrible face. There's nothing there now. There was, Uncle Carl, there was. There it is again. Tracks, nothing. Well, that one won't leave no track, no, sir, and not unless it be a cloven hoof. This solves one mystery, though. That blowing stuff is swamp mud, decayed animal and vegetable matter. That's what we saw in the supply case. Then that thing, whatever it is, lives in the swamp. Maybe. It's worth a search. How about it? Are you up to it, Jeremiah? Oh, well, Carl, I thought you know I'd stay here and protect your family. Jeremiah, I'd rather you go with Carl. Uh, you would? <clears throat> Yes, uh, Carl, I'll go. Load your musket and both my pistols and keep them with you. And don't leave the clearing. If you see the animals, pen them up, but don't go hunting after them. Well, I ain't got no heart for hunting where we'll be hunting. Let's go. I... The cramp got me. Let me sit for a minute. Not the devil, Jeremiah. It's the way you wolfed your jerky. I... Swamp fire. We've seen it often enough. It's gone now. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. It's spreading this way. Carl, it's coming at us. Jeremiah, there's nothing there. No, it's coming at us. Carl, back up. It's coming at us. Jeremiah, wait. Wait a minute. You're all right. There's nothing there. Jeremiah, you're all right. No, it's coming right at us. Nothing there. But I seize it. I seize it. I'm sure you did. You see it now? Uh, 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 no. Is anything burned? Oh. oh, me, oh, my, my. You're all right, Jeremiah. No, I ain't. I ain't. Not when I keep seeing things. You don't see them now. How's your cramp? Uh, 
Uh, it's gone. Let's get back. Uh, Can you walk? Uh, I'll carry your musket. Uh, 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 it's moving. The ground, is it moving? No. Ah, uh, then... Uh, it's getting soft. I'm sinking into it. I'm it's sinking. All right, it. I've got a hold of but you. But you can't hold me. I'm sinking right through. Jeremiah, you're all right. No. What's it making me do that? What? No, don't tell me. I don't want to know. All right, lean on me. I'll get you back. Body will give you something to make you feel better. Come on. I is bewitched. I know that Carl bewitched. I'm a goner for sure. Come on now. I think this will feel better. <laughs> My, it's poisoned, I have. Now, now, it's bitter herbs and so better stuff. Uh, uh. Carl, what's the matter? I am changing color. No, Carl, it's all right. You're imagining it. Poor Carl. He's bewitched like me. Believe me, Carl, there's nothing wrong with it. All right, now. I think I know what it is. Jeremiah the jerky. Do you still have any of that jerky? I in my pocket. How do you look at it through the magnifying? Jeremiah and I both ate some of that jerky. He ate quite a lot of it. I didn't. I'm drugged. Drugged. How are you, darling? Better. How could that awful drug have gotten in the meat that you and Jeremiah ate? I know this. Supernatural bird or beast put it there. You in free! Island belong to gods. Gods make food bad. Gods make water bad. Gods burn house. Yeah, get some water. Pitch. Is he a witch doctor? They're called shamans. That heathen wants us off this island. Well, what do we do, Carl? We can't just pick up and leave the island like that. Where will we go? We're not going to leave. Well, Carl, what you got in mind? He used tricks. We use knowledge. With a little help from people like Lavoisier and Cavendish and Priestley and Ben Franklin. Ben Franklin? Well, he knowed how to fly a kite, but he didn't know how to come in out of the rain. How could Ben Franklin help him? Just wait, you'll see. First things first, he said make food bad, fire, and make water bad. I better go check the water supply. Yeah, I better go see what he done to me place. Oops, ooh, I got dizzies. Maybe I best stay here. I think you should. Let's go inside. Oh, e easy. Uh, oh. Watch your step. Uh. More magic. There's your magic. It must be some kind of a dye. Is it poisonous? Let's not try and find out. Should I empty the barrel? Yes, and then check out the source of the waterfall. Yes, sir. The shaman probably has a few more tricks up his sleeve. I'm going to see if I can figure out something to show him. The 
what that lot could do with the bellows. Well, you tell her that her best is good enough for me. What is all this, Uncle Carl? Well, the natural philosophers have discovered a whole new body of knowledge. It's called physical science. These are some of its tools. Are you going to use them against the witch doctor? Well, let's just say I'm going to try and teach him something. You better run along and help tend to Jeremiah. Yes, sir. I don't know whether the shaman used a piece of black cloth or not. Whatever he used, he coated it with that swamp mud so it would glow. Well, what was that thing we saw in the bushes, Papa? That was broad daylight. A mask. I expect we'll see it again. Well, Carl, that's mighty clever of you. Truly clever. But the question is, how are you going to fight the witch doctor? By proving to him that my magic powers are stronger than his. Magic powers? Science. Something called chemistry. Well, Carl... I sure hope that you knows what you're talking about. Jeremiah, Papa says not to use your gun. Well, ain't gonna use it. Uh, ain't not gonna use it either. Are your gods sleeping? I'm sure they're out there somewhere. Come! Show yourself! Just phosphorescent swamp mud, coated on balls made of salt grass. He's raising it on a string. this appeal to You can't change it. We'll make him change it. Carl, he said gods take children. If they're in danger, I don't want to stay. Lottie, we have to fight this out. Well, I don't want any harm coming to them. We won't let that happen. We'll stand guard all night tonight. But I can't be any good to you, Carl. I can't even touch me musket. Here. Try this one. How do he do it? He puts an idea in your mind. It'll go. We have to try and beat the shaman at his own game.
impressive, is it? Looks impressive to me. I think we need something special. Baby? You in there, baby? Are you in there? I'll give you some sugar cane. I thought she was with you. The chip ran off and she went after it. Pearl, the shaman said God take children. When did she leave? Just a few minutes ago. She can't have gone far. Jeremiah, will you help me hunt for her? I got your pistol too, Carl. Thank you. I'll help, Papa. And you stay here with Annie and your mother and don't leave the tree house. Chimp used to like to hide by the waterfall. Maybe they went there. Aye, and I know a sycamore tree used to like to hide it. I'll try there.
very important. Okay? Sign them? I didn't see them either. They can't have just vanished into thin air. They're bound to be footprints. They're probably just yours and mine, and they're old prints. Well, look, circle around. We'll try that direction, I'll go over there. With each circle, go deeper into the jungle. Aye. Plenty of footprints, but not the right ones. We ain't never gonna find her this way. I mean, not even if she ain't been took by the shaman. Silvers. <laughs> Something tied up in it. Nothing but a rock. She's trying to send us a message to tell us where she is. There ain't nothing on it. This is from Ernie's Strawberry Layer Cake Cave. Come on, baby. trying to get the children. We'll stop him. But how? As long as we stays on this island, we'd be in danger. He'll be after the boys next. We may have to leave the island, but before we do, I want to try one more trip. <laughs>
have to leave you now, baby. Beautifully. We'll leave in a moment. I'll find some reason to be last. They know what to do. Wants, but we gots to go. I won't go. I don't want to go either. Neither do I. Yeah. You got to go. We got to go. I won't. I won't. I won't. You will. Right, you will. 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 You will. 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 you be quiet? Let me help you, Carl. Now. Ah. Bobby, what's wrong? What well, left your mama? children, get your gear off the boat and take it back to the treehouse. You too, Jeremiah. You leave island now. Your gods want us to stay. No. You can't drive us off. Your gods won't let you. You go now. Your gods strike. Is this your son? Gods are angry with him. They want you to take your magic back to your island and your people and let us stay here. If you do, I can help him. Your gods have put the sickness in his heart. I can draw it out. Now the sickness is in the stone. I'll throw it away. There, it's gone. Now your sonny's free. Now, Carl, make him take the spell off us. Ungo, go, go, go. Ungo yourself. Carl, I don't feel no different. He didn't do it. Carl, he didn't do it. I'll show you some magic. Jeremiah, wait. No, I'm using it on him. That's your musket. 
Right. It's your money. Carly, don't burn me no more. The spell's gone. Well, all the same, Carl. I feel a lot safer with him and that other one off the island. Your magic's strong. You take my magic. No good for me. It isn't magic. It's science. I wish I could explain it to you so you wouldn't be so frightened. You take... Your magic is still good for you and your people, but it's no good here on this island. Take this and leave us in peace. We go. of it was suggestion and fear. That's the basis. This is a Leiden jar. It's one of the things I saved off the ship. It's just an ordinary jar wrapped with foil inside and out. What does it do? This is a piece of amber, like we find along the beach. You rub it, and it builds up a charge of electricity. Now the charge is in the jar. Oh, I ain't seen nothing in that jar. It's in there. Oh, it ain't. Nothing went in that jar. You can't fool me, Carl. I tell you, there is nothing in that jar. <laughs> <laughs> you all right? I could knock over a horse. That's right. Electricity is a powerful force. It can hurt as well as help. Well, I ain't never going to go near nothing like that again. Never again. And anyone touching you would have jumped. You mean we'd jump too, just like Baby did? Mm -hmm. I read once about a general who lined up 150 of his men, all holding hands, and one of them touched a Leiden jar. They all jumped. 150 men? That little thing? Little thing? Don't forget, that little thing saved our island. <laughs> 